Hey guys, Bray here from The Urban Umbrella and welcome back to my channel. Today I am uh, real excited to be sharing with you guys how I got these uh, pretty darn nice curls and also my review of the Conair Unbound Curler. I have some thoughts on it. So with that being said, let's get into it. All right, so I recently got the Conair Unbound Beauty in Motion Curling Iron. This is a cordless curling iron that basically allows you to curl your hair on the go. So I was reading over the instructions just a few minutes ago and here's what it says. The first time you use, you wanna charge it for four and a half hours. I've done that, I charged it actually overnight. Next you choose the heat as well as the curl direction you'd like. Then they say to start with a one inch section of hair, insert the hair into the curling iron, wait for the beep, and then release the perfect curl. So this gets up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, which is pretty darn hot. Kind of freaks me out a little bit to think that I could be uh, putting my hair into this and uh, burning it right off. <laughs> but we're, we're, we're doing it. We're gonna try this out. Um, in addition, it says that it gives uh, 60 minutes cord free runtime, which I think is really awesome. And online, this retails for $120 at London Drugs, which is expensive. <laughs> I actually am a little surprised by that. I did not think it was gonna be that pricey, but that's what it is. So to get started, we are just going to hit this button right here. That's the start button, so that's it on. And then I'm going to choose the setting, so. Ooh. So I'm choosing 360 for heat. I'm doing a mix of front and back curls. So let's uh, let's try this thing. Okay, so that worked, but it did not beep. And honestly, I'm a little scared of this thing. So I think maybe I have to start up here and then go like this. So my impression so far is that I'm not really doing it how I'm supposed to. I don't really like the idea of putting my hair in there for a full 12 seconds. It just feels like it's going to um, burn or honestly, like it's not gonna beep. It's just kind of freaking me out. I do think it's working and it's fairly easy to use and I do think it's quick. Like that's a cute curl but my hair is hot when it's coming out of there. Like it's definitely warm. I wouldn't want to leave it in there for much longer than I have. So let's go ahead and actually count how long I'm peeking in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. All right, so I did end up figuring out how to get the timer to work. So basically as soon as you start curling your hair, um, you need to press the start button and that will begin the countdown of 12 seconds. But honestly, I found counting on my own was easier. All right, so that's one side done. And I think that looks really, really cute. I have the back here. So I'm gonna work at this and then uh, let's see at the end how it looks and my thoughts. So here's my hair after curling it with the unbound curling iron. I think the curls are pretty. They're really tight. Like I want to run a brush through them obviously, but I'm going to let them set first before I brush them out. They're much tighter than I usually would be able to achieve with a um, curling iron. I just, I don't know what it is. I am not that great at curling my hair or styling my hair. Uh, I always pretty much just go for loose waves because that's just what my hair does. So I do actually really like how this turned out. It's kind of different for me. Um, I can definitely see myself bringing this, you know, if I was going to do my hair for a wedding, for example, because it does look a little bit more professionally styled, I would say. Um, I'm really excited to see how it looks when it's actually brushed out. I do want to mention though at times that I did feel a little bit scared while using this that my hair was going to get wrapped up in the iron. It kind of did at the back here. The issue with my hair is that I have a lot of really fine hair, so it tangles easily, uh, it knots easily, it breaks easily. So when I started to see it knot back here, it kind of freaked me out. Uh, thankfully, you know, nothing bad happened, but I don't think that this is like a completely foolproof product. I definitely think you wanna take your time and make sure that you're not getting any um, strands that you don't want in that one curl into the iron. So now I'm actually gonna go ahead and just brush these out lightly. All right, so yeah, definitely feel like these look much more professional than I usually would be able to achieve. I think they look really quite pretty. Final thoughts, it's 
too expensive in my opinion. It does work really beautifully, but it is a little scary to use and you definitely want to take some time the first time you use it. I do think I'll be using it again though. I think this looks really nice. I also wanted to mention that I do think this tool is ideal for those who have, you know, short to medium length hair, um, hair that's not super thick. Otherwise, I do think, you know, it could still be quite time consuming to do your hair just because you are only styling it in small one inch sections. Alright guys, and that is my full review. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!